Hello once again, it's your boy That's No Moon back for another Grand Arena 3v3, this time up against Worth Skidder, representing the Rising Sun, top thousand combatant in Div 1. Uh, he's got an Ultimate Ray, and however, I'm not going to focus on Ultimate Ray. We tried a bit of strong defense last time, and just having a look at the other characters. And I was having a chat with um, a couple of others last night about sort of the hard defense and why I thought it was so effective. And that there's almost like an optimal GP for getting... Because uh, if you get a Galactic Legend too early, again, some would say that's not a bad thing. But it does leave a lot of holes on the rest of your roster. And the reason being is that because obviously for Arena, you, you're going to want your best mods. People are always, always going to be testing your Arena. However, it does leave a big hole um, in terms of your mods and your roster uh, for the rest of it. So just as we're checking out this, um, I thought I would sort of give my thoughts on it. And uh, I think you'd ideally you don't pull mods off your other best teams. So um, so yeah, uh, that's that's my opinion on it. I think that sometimes like this guy here with Skidder, uh, four point five million, I think four point six, four point seven. Um, again, we set a hard defense. Rebels got some holds there in the back. It's a weakish defense, uh, or rather a weak defense. And then at the front, it's the three meta teams. Now we've had three battles against Padme. She is holding the line. Gas took two. Um, he killed off fives, I think, the first one. So that is, hopefully that will hold during the attack phase. We've got a decent first order. And just going to have a look here at, uh, at the stats as I go through. And just very quickly, if you do want to see any more Star Wars Galaxy Heroes videos, please feel free to hit that like, uh, comment your thoughts as always, and subscribe. It is always great to hear your comments uh, on each and every battle. Hopefully you're doing well. This is round seven and we are six and zero oh at the moment. We have got two Galactic Legends in the pool, I think. And yeah, I mean, this is, as I said, this defense isn't particularly hard. I had a look, scouted the opponent, tends to keep all his toys for offense, which is fine because there is uh, there is only a certain amount of things that go through those first three teams. So this is a good chance. I've given up on doing feats, <laughs> especially with Stormtrooper variants uh, or First Order variants. So I'm um, just going to play this by the by. I'm going to try min-max. So we're not going to go for that Galactic Legend today. We are just going to try and min-max everything else. Try and uh, essentially it's you do lose 700 banners. You know, you finish on 1760 or whatever compared to um, 2460, let's say, for example. So it can be a little bit annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. A win is obviously more important than uh, a full clear. So... That's the plan. Um, uh, do I dare say that we go seven and three on this one? We do need to clear everything that's here. It's I've got plenty left for offense, uh, and that is banking that he doesn't uh, get through Padme. I do. I've realised from putting Padme, and uh, honestly, I can't watch them. Um, it gets too tense for me. But I realise I do probably need to get Padme quicker for the next Grand Arena. She's 274, so she's right in the middle of where she needs to be. Either a fast Padme at like 300 or a slow, sort of like Darth Revan counter uh, 5v5 Padme, which are probably more along the scope of like 200, maybe 225. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go the faster route um, just because I think it probably is better PvP, uh, especially on defence if I'm planning to put it on defence. So... That'll be the likely change in uh, from this round. A little bit of a shorter one, this one, because we don't know how to clear the, like absolutely full territories. So apologies, but um, but again, it, it is what it is. Uh, lots of level one <laughs> mods on this. Oof. Um, and again, not particularly worried about these Night Sisters. I get why they're there, because they're interesting mechanics. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think stormtroopers do get through this. Apparently, General Veers and Stark isn't one. I think it was. So um, I found that out afterwards. Of course, Talia is going to go, and we're going to get a death mark straight off. And let's go in against old Daka, maybe. Woo! Now that's how death troopers should be hitting. But obviously, this is a much weaker Daka. But um, but yeah, that was pretty fun. So. 
Finishing off there. Don't know what I was thinking about there. 52 banners. I'll take it. It's not going to be an efficiency battle, this one. Uh, it's going to be... We're just going to go for the one shots and see if we can see if we can sort of get the win. And hopefully Padme will hold, as I said. This one I do like sort of deleting the health pool. Um, I mean, anything relic, relic Kylo's going to be... You've got to take care with them, let's put it that way. So... Need to deal with first order executioner first. Again, there's you know, I can't really um, mess this one up, I don't think. I'll have a good go. But as I said, I don't think I can really mess this one up. So, yeah, no GG. Yet. Must have kept that on, um, on offense. He does like to keep absolutely everything for reference, which is fine. I don't mind that. And I wouldn't mind even a straight up fight. Even if he kept his GL Ray uh, for offense, I would, um, I would much prefer if they kept the advantage as because this is this is i've been seeing this so much um as of late the actual uh gls on defense which i get i get i get but then if you're gonna get beat every single time if someone goes a hard defense then you gotta switch it up and you've got to start taking that gl on on offense i see why people do it it would be much more enjoyable if it was a case of everyone kept good offense uh, and it became a Mm, maybe a battle of efficiency, I don't know. This Basti team, I do have to be careful of. Uh, I've got decent regen with Dengar here. Uh, Basti teams trip us up at the best of times with that extra protection. Ezra is a nice choice in there. I do prefer like someone like Kenobi. Old Ben is in there, though, as well, uh, for time like team variants. So let's get rid of Ezra. He's the, uh, he's the ace in this scenario, so we'll try and get rid of him. Uh, get rid of Ben Kenobi. Again, I don't think it's really about heroics. Uh, I was half tempted to try and take down that GL. But with the ultimate, um, I, I know my own limitations. I know my roster's own limitations. So uh, it would be stupid of me to uh, to try it. So here we go. Oh, Ben, let's try and just take off some health from Bastila. Lower that max HP. And the rest is pretty much all she wrote. Now it's just a game of keeping the banners uh, at 54. As I said, you know, trying to min-max it a little bit. We're only talking a couple of banners here. Woo, 50 grand. And now we've got, well, we've got loads left over in all honesty. Um, we've got plenty here. The interesting, uh, what's he modded it for? Crit damage. So 240 speed, uh, tenacity's 39. Again, that's going to be a fairly easy one, so that's not an issue. I should go to work with the old um, Empire. I think these guys have got decent banner. Um, uh, what do you call it? Not reproduction, but... Um, oh, I've drawn a blank. Uh, and I even said it earlier on in the video, I think. So decent, like, banner recovery. That's the word I was looking for. Oh, my God, my Vader is <laughs> G12. Such a poor hitter. Uh, I mean, he's not saying sayonara to anyone at the moment. But looking forward to, as I've said before, looking forward, I feel like I'm getting pretty close to uh, the Kylo farm. So looking forward to moving on, getting Vader and getting Wampa, getting Lando and the boys uh, up to gear 13. Any excuse. Because they're characters that I've wanted to get just out of passion projects. Lando was one of my first gear 12s, actually, weirdly enough. I think, if not my first gear 12. Because he was awesome in Arena uh, back when I was playing sort of long, long time ago. And I had great success with Lando as a lead. So I have very fond memories of Lando. And, yeah. And in the comments, let me know your favourite meta. Whether it's Barris, Lando, Dooku, Maul. Oh, the Maul meta. Yeah, that was rough. Uh, whether you actually like GLs, I can't imagine there being much support for those. Let me know your favourite meta. Yeah, Jedi Knight, Jedi Knight Revan uh, metas. Is that the absolute most boring meta of all time? Going mirror matched um, Jedi Knight Revan. 
Possibly. Uh, Barris comes a, sec a cl very close second. And then Maul probably third for, for like the most trigger rage inducing uh, arena battles of all time. Uh, very low speed, which I, I'm actually an advocate of. Very high tenacity, which huge advocate. So this guy, very low health though, 17,000. So I'm really not sweating it. But in terms of mods, that's a good, like that's a well modded, um, slow as anything. And then tenacious as well. So I'm surprised that that wasn't used for offense. But again, as I said, it's not going to get one of those three teams that he needs to to uh, control the board. And it's the second time, two out of three times that um, that they've actually gone north rather. No, actually two out of two that they've gone north before they've gone south, which I think is an error. Uh, I think if you can brute force your way through, I think you've got to know that there's not going to be a super hard defense at the back. So um I think you've just got to brute force your way through the south. If I was on the other, whoa, okay, that was quick. Didn't expect that. Um, yeah, that was very quick, actually, 54. I'd need to stall harder. And uh, there we go. There's the Erodium. Nice promotion. It all helps when it comes to uh, to that Galactic Legend farm. Um, yeah, I'm sort of already moving on to Luke, you know. Oh, I need to stay on target. Stay on target. I've come this far. I've come this far. I've got so much gear ready. I need 50 more of those. I need about 100 more stun cuffs, I think. Uh, like a couple of hundred relic materials and a few little bit more of uh, gear 13 gear. It's getting there. I would say I'm probably like I'm not far away. So checking back in on Padme. And yeah, I did notice as well. He doesn't have malevolence, so he's going to go with rebels. Uh, let's see how the separatists do versus rebels. I can't imagine that they're like particularly efficient. Currently on, uh, what am I on? 90 shards for malevolence out of 100. So that'll be nice because it's, well, naturally it's another two banners uh, for an extra slot. So, I mean, it all helps. Every banner counts when uh, when it comes down to it. Let's be honest. How many times have we lost a grand arena because of one or two, um, one or two banner difference? So, it all does help. So same sort of strat. I'm going to put offense and defense over there. Going to get this round because I wouldn't mind having a shot at uh, Millennium Falcon. Oh, that was annoying. Big Scott healed up. Oh, and I guess cleansed as well. So, yeah, that's um, that's actually nice. That's that's not too bad. Let's bring in. Let's force a taunt out there on someone. Mm, okay, let's get rid of Hera. Yeah, and then yeah, this is this is actually all right. Actually, the cleanse, you know. Here comes Phantom. That's a oh, I was going to say that I thought that was a big hit. Then Stark behind Bigs here, annoyingly with no assists. And yeah, the ships, ship, ship. So I'm definitely not ready for two ships per zone. Uh, I think it will be a case of. So here's how I see it. I think people will probably go with on defense. So team number one, you're going to put one of your hard ones in. You're going to put, I can't see anyone putting both in, um, but I can see one either one negotiator or one malevolence. And I can see then if they farmed for obviously Kylo Ren, they will probably, um, yeah, actually. I don't think they'll put Thrawn in defense, but I think they'll actually put like the finalizer or they'll put, if you've been farming for uh, Ray, whoever Holdo's ship is, I can't remember what their name is. But yeah, I think uh, I think that's probably going to be the most likely that people go with. And there it is. So 1761, we, uh, who's the baddest beach in town now? Is it Padme or is it Ray? I'll let you decide. Let me know in the comments who's uh, who's the baddest, Padme or Ray, Galactic Legend Ray. Um, yes, 275. I was just having a look at her stats as well. So there we go. There we have it. So it was a little bit of a slug with uh, uploading that video. This is the next day. We're ranking in at the moment at 655. This is a nice rank. We haven't full cleared twice and we're not really too bothered about the feats there's not a huge amount that i can do gain advantage i don't think i'm going to be doing that uh squad arena yeah i can do that that's not an issue uh 10 on the first yeah first order stormtroopers uh, i might get that and actually that's a shiny portrait so 
I like that. I might shoot for that. Let's see how it goes. Okay, there we go. So the final result, sorry, and I digress, was, as you can probably imagine, uh, that was a win. There was no further action. And we are up against uh, Dalu in this next one. So very, very similar uh, in terms of roster. This one's obviously missing quite a lot. Relic 7 up the wazoo. Um, this guy doesn't go halves. He, he, like, there's a lot of Relic 7 characters there. Um, so that'll be quite interesting in terms of the top end and then middle end and battle of the B teams. Um, so already got Phasma, Executioner, First Order, TIE Pilot sort of, and Officer getting along the way. So this is an absolute focus farm. Um, but a much smaller account, so it does just show how much of a blow it can put on an account. So this should be interesting. And we have already had, uh, there's a few names there, Dalu, Hector, the Greek, Worth, Skidder, Turgon. So I think one Galactic Legend is gone. And then, yes, we've got another Ray uh, in the pool who is possible opponent. But I think one uh, one actually lost the first round. Yeah, so a Kylo ultimate. So that's always handy. I'll join you for the next one. Good luck with all your Grand Arenas. Um, we are 7-0 and at the moment. We will hopefully be around 8-0. And, and I will see you on the next one. Good luck. And as I said, if you're new around here and you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys. And I'll see you next time.